Hello and welcome to Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. I'm your host Jeanette Burke, live on the red carpet for day two of the Canadian Screen Actors Awards. This time we're focusing on cinematic and television series. We're going to be seeing Ryan Reynolds, Catherine O'Hara and many more stars. And if you haven't already done so, please click the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I also want to remind you that you can support us by buying these incredible t-shirts and sweatshirts with either the JTB tagline and logo or an inspirational saying made by me and a previous guest in a previous episode. The choice is yours. All you have to do is choose your color, your size, and whether you want the logo and the tagline or the inspirational saying, it'll all be sent to you conveniently straight to your front door and include shipping and handling. Now. Before we get on with today's episode, we're going to have a word from our sponsor, so please stay with us. Hey, I'm Jeanette Burke from Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast, back at the red carpets at the Canadian Screen Actors Award, where I have to be dressed. So, thank you to Sachet Boutique in the heart of Thornhill at Young and Center for another amazing outfit that has helped me stand out. If you have a special event coming on and you want to stand out, Go visit Sheba. She will help you with her incredible collection of beautiful designer gowns and cocktail dresses from all the best European designs at very affordable prices. So I'm standing here with... Kevin Hanchard. I'm, uh, I play Superintendent Joseph Donovan on Hudson and Rex, City TV. Wow. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to say what I'm nominated for. I'm nominated for Best Supporting Actor on a Dramatic Series. And congratulations to you. Okay, Best Supporting Actor. Now... Tell us the truth. Is it a pressure to be a supporting actor? Is there pressure? Yeah, because you have to be supporting the other actor. No. Supporting actor is a great job because you don't have to carry all of the water <laughs> on the show. That's for the leads. Uh, you just really get to be there and, to, uh, and get to really flesh out the story. You know, it's, there's, a, you know there's pressure and you got to do, you got to be, you know, good at your job. You got to try to do your best, but uh, it's, good. it's good. How did you get into acting? Acting found me. I was just always that guy in class. I was always the guy who was doing public speaking, a little bit of a class clown, always wanted to be up front, you know what I mean? And then lo and behold, you realize, oh, I can actually monetize this and make a career out of it and uh, do something that I love for a living. And how do you decide what roles you'll choose? What is the criteria for you? Uh, I always look for characters that are, are difficult and flawed. Do you know what I mean? Someone who's got a little bit of grit and grime and something underneath the surface that you got to pick a way at to get to. Those, those, kind of the, those are the kind of roles that really intrigue me and I think make uh, for interesting television and film watching. And I guess they challenge you a little bit too as a person, they right? To. They have to. I always think that any role that you play has to have a little bit of you in it. You know, people who try to become somebody else uh, often fail. I think you've got to find the part of you that resonates with the character, that resonates with the words on the page, and then not be afraid to bring that out, no matter how dirty, grimy, complicated, sad that character or that part of your personality may be. One last question. Yeah. It has been said, and I want to get your opinion on this, mm -hmm. it has been said that if you could really be a good salesperson, you could be a really good actor. Okay. Do, do you agree with that or disagree with that statement? Yeah. When all the other actors were waiting tables trying to make it through in their career, I was in retail sales. That's what I was doing. I was a salesperson working at Square One in Mississauga. Shout out to Mississauga, baby. Uh, that's what I was doing. And I think that a lot of those lessons in learning how to deal with people learning how to relate to people, learning how to make people happy, learning how to read that behavior and that body language uh, has only helped me in my career. So I fully agree with that statement. Thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck. And I, it's great that you were in retail because I grew up in retail. Yeah. It's great, great to see you. No doubt. No doubt. Pleasure. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for being with us today on Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV Podcast. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, signing off. Please remember to like, comment, and share all our posts with your family and friends. You will find us everywhere on the streaming side, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, YouTube, Vimeo, Instagram, and the list goes on. On the podcast audio side, you will find us on iHeartRadio, Apple, Anchor, Buzzsprout, BuzzFeed, and so many more. For a complete list of where to watch and listen to us, please check the link in the show notes below. And until next time, 
continue to be fabulous.